we're back in the stand. Uh, this morning, I obviously had an absolutely awesome, crazy hunt down there in the red brush and killed a uh, big browse. Uh, I assume if you're watching this video, you've seen that video and uh, still, still trying to come down from that high. That was absolutely awesome to get a shot at that deer. But this evening we're sitting up in the shanty overlooking the brassica and the corn and then we got that strip food plot down here. And uh, there's a couple different bucks up here that dad is looking to kill. Uh, of course, everybody knows about Oldie and then we got the Bully 8 and then we got uh, Goofy. So realistically, there's three different shooters in this woods right now that uh, dad is gonna uh, let one rip if one of the big boys come out. I bet we see some deer. It's perfect conditions tonight and I think it's even supposed to snow later. So I think they're gonna uh, be realizing they need some need some food. So Nourishment. Yeah. We'll turn you on when some deer start moving. I'll just be quiet. Are you nice and steady, Dad? We'll let it turn broadside. Hey, shoot, what, shoot it right up. No. We'll let him turn broadside. That's it. I know. That's the biggest one we have. Just be, it's all ready to fire, right? Yeah, you just have to let him turn broadside. Shoulder, how how ticklish is this trigger? It's just, just ticklish. Just hold the high shoulder, okay? Yeah. Let him turn sideways. He's facing me right now. Yeah, I know he is. You don't want me to take him right now? No, there. no, no. Let him turn sideways, Dad. Are you good and steady? Yeah. You know, if you push the gun forward, you can get it pinched against that and keep it, yeah, like that. Oh, I could take him right in the chest. No, don't do that. Let him turn sideways. Stay nice and steady. You're nice and steady, right? Get as comfortable as you can. Make sure you have that. Got him. He kicked. He was, Dad, you he shot. Was, he was going behind the tree. I had to shoot right there. You shot a giant. You sure he's down? No, he's not down, but you hit him. That deer was, that's the biggest deer on the road. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh my he gosh. Kicked. He kicked. He kicked. We're gonna have to rewatch it, but you have to keep it on. Oh yeah, keep it on. Yep. Yep, racking on. Man. Dad, that is the buck we're talking about. Oh my god. That's the bully eight. Holy shit. <laughs> He's a giant. <laughs> what time is it? It's uh three twenty two. Three twenty. Are you kidding me? That really just happened.
Wow. Have you, you've never seen I've a never buck seen that big? I've never seen a buck anywhere near that big. <laughs> that had horns that were out this far. <laughs> it's a giant. That, I, are you there, Chaz? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we got to, uh, my dad just crushed the biggest deer on the road. We'll see. I, he, I'm going to rewatch the video quick. We'll talk to you later, Chaz. Watch the video, it didn't look like I hit him. No, you hit him, it just looked bad. It looked like back. Dad and I are gonna walk down here and look at where he was standing. I, we watched the video back, at least on the camera. It looks like he hit him back. The deer started walking. He's kind of running out of space. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna sneak down here and see what it looks like where he was, but that's a giant buck for our area that's the bully eight which is like the biggest deer we have on the property i can't believe dad looked down there we were just we just got in 15 minutes ago there he was in that strip food plot what we're gonna do since i think the shot is a little back i'm gonna have dad go in the woods right here in the corner it's all beaver swamp in here it turns into pine pine trees uh, pretty open woods in here, so I'm gonna have him get in there and I'm gonna go to where the hit was. So if he is right there and I do bump him back up, Dad can get shooting at him over here. I hope the shot was better than it looked. If that's a good sign or a bad sign. Did you get him? Did you get him? No way. Oh my gosh, Dad. He's down? Are you sure? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, Dad. Is that where my first hit was? Or yeah, was yep. Right oh, there. Dad, that's a giant! Yeah, it is. <laughs> God, I'm glad I got him after. You know, I had him in my sight so long. <laughs> we killed the two biggest deer on the road the in the same day. Oh my gosh. Get behind it. He's done. Oh, I hit him in the head. I maybe glanced him there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dad. <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm... I'm beyond excited for you. That's a, that's a heck of a deer. That's a heck of a deer. That's the buck I was hunting this morning. Can you imagine if Uncle John shot that big one tonight? We killed all three of them in the same day. I got it all on video. You got it done for dad! <laughs> Holy cow, dad! That's the bully eight. Oh my gosh! We've got some wall decorations for our new house! I'm so you don't put it at your house, I'm putting it at mine. 
Yeah. Well, we watched him for quite a while. We were in the shaft up there. <laughs> Dad wanted to shoot it, facing straight at us. Jesus Christ. I, I, plus talking on the phone to Chaz Miller, and I'm looking down at that that food lot down below in the field, and I said, Cliff, there's a deer. That's a buck. <laughs> and so he grabs a gun and puts Chaz on hold, and and we look at it, and Christ, he, he identified it as a bully eight right away, and... So I got the gun on it, and, and he, kept, he was facing me, and he went turn sideways, and I said, Cliff, I can take him right in the chest. I can take him right in the chest. No, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. That's a 300-yard shot. That's don't a long shoot. shot. I said, I got him. I, I, got, a, I got him on, you know, I, I got a level sight. I, I, I'm on him. No, shoot, don't shoot. Wait till he turns sideways. Well, he turned sideways and was one step from being behind the trees. I mean, he turned and went, and so I fired at him and I hit him in the back hip and so then so then he ran towards the the, the woods here you know like he's out of sight and so we were walking down to see you know if we hit him and Cliff says well you you walk in the pines down here and I'm gonna walk you know where where I shot him and uh, I got in the pines and right away I see him you know sneaking through you know kind of trotting through those pines so I fired again I got him on the crosshairs and fired again. 243? No. 30 out of 6, 7,600. And, uh, and so then he, he didn't go down, and so now I'm running through the woods because I, 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 I see he's hurt and stuff, but I don't, I don't know how badly, you know. And so then I, I get to another vantage point where I'm going to get another shot at him when he pulls around this corner, and I shot, and bam, he <laughs> went down right there. But, no, not Heck no, I Dad did. went off on. Was he was on the woods <laughs> sprinting. <30 out> of <laughs> trying to get a vantage because I saw him in here. I mean, look, look where we're at. I mean, are you, where are you at? The strip food plot is right. The food plot is right over there. I'm facing you. So I mean, we're no, we're you know from that hut and shack and gaswell piece, the bottom of the hill down in that swamp. Oh yeah, where Kaylee's butt cut out the last day. Yeah. Well, we got some work to do. We just, he's, he, he was still kicking when we come up here. And I said, Cliff, wait until he's dead. How? Let's put, put the camera back on him, honey. Oh, my. Can you turn him sideways? To turn his raft for me so I can see him a little better. Oh, my Lord. Dad. Holy cow. <laughs> He went from the he went from never shooting the big one to shooting the biggest one. Oh, Clifford, I'm so happy for you guys. Both the oh, biggest the biggest bucks Both of the biggest bucks on Nazareth Road on the lower end were in the same batch of patch of brush on the same day. Yep. Oh, and they're both my. and they're both dead. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Look what I just did. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jeez. the bull we got the bully eight down here. Wow. It's a giant. What a stud. What a story to it, too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got that all the Dad, time. Dad put the first shot on it at three. It was in the very back part of the strip food plot in the red brush, and he put a 300 yard shot on it. And yeah. He was pissed at me because yeah. he wouldn't, I wouldn't let him shoot it because it was facing us. He was I'm like, facing don't shoot me, it in front of Creed War, and I say, I got him right on his chest cliff. I got him. I got him. Let me shoot now. He says, wait till he turns sideways. Wait till he turns sideways. And. And God, he turned sideways, but he d he didn't stop then. Then he was moving. And he was going right behind the trees. And so I shot. I fired one off right before he got there, and I hit him right in the back hip, right there. And then he went into this into the lower bottom swamp here, you know. And so Cliff and I came down here, and Cliff said, "Well, you." I'm glad Cliff told me this. He says, "You go into that woods right over there, into the corner, and I'll go into the food plot, and we'll see." I I just got in here about. 
10, 15 yards and I see him coming through the woods out of that uh, food plot. And uh, so uh, I, you know, it's hard to get a shot with a scope with a deer moving through, you know, look. Yeah, did you change your power before you went down there? Hell no. <laughs> and so I'm on him and I fire, another, I fire another shot at him and I think I hit him again. But he didn't go down, and, and he's still moving. So now I'm running through these goddamn woods, you know, and getting a, get another vantage point. And he finally presented himself again, and I shot him again. That time I put him put his ass down right here. <laughs> wow. He is a stud. Yeah, it's exciting. You guys had a crazy... We shot, we shot two of the biggest bucks on the lower end of Nazareth Road out of the same patch of woods next to the same food plot this morning. Yeah. Crazy what snow will do, right? Uh, yeah. You know, if you have the food and you have the cover and you don't have the pressure, you kill the big bucks. It's simple. It's not like a crazy equation, you know? Yeah. I mean, a week ago, I couldn't see anything but a spike out there. Well, last night, I was at lower, lower uh, below the barn. Five bucks out there at one time. Five. Nothing bigger than a, like a four, or nothing bigger than a six. It might have had a six out there. But five yeah. bucks at one time. There's a scrape that just got tore up, probably by one of the two bucks dad or I killed. Look at the size of this freaking. <laughs> you see that? Oh my gosh! That looks like that record buck that was on their on your phone. <laughs> yeah. That's what that big boy was out here eating. Look at see how they're chewing on those. He was standing. Right near your camera. Yeah, he was. He was standing right behind it. There's the Cuddy Link system. One of the Cuddy Link cameras. Bedded right in there, came out right through here, and your shot was right here. Oh, yeah, I hit him pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was bleeding like crazy. And he went down right there, apparently. Yeah, he took his hip out. Oh, my gosh. He was bleeding like crazy, Dad. Well, maybe he wouldn't have made it. No way. No, you hit something pretty important to get that kind of blood so quick. You can see how he's dragging his back end too. You hit, you broke his pelvis or something. Yeah, but he was right, you know, I, he right was here. almost out of sight when I. This is where the. Because you can see where the. There's hair right here. Where? Right there. Oh yeah. Oh, right here is where the round hit him. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah, you can see that that tree was. Dang near in the way. Because he was standing right here for the longest time. Right here. And I mean, I had sight of him right here. And he, but he was facing me. Kaylee's big 11 point she killed came out right at that point last year on the last day. And she shot it right, you know, just in front of where you did. But. Well, maybe that deer would have came back anyway. Oh, yeah. There's no way it could have made it far with that hit. But, I mean. You know, Certainly like, better to get in there and get after it and put it down for, oh, for yeah. sure. But Yeah. You could mount this last uh, turnip he was chewing on before he died. <laughs> you could put that in his mouth. Yeah. No, uh, I wish the camera would have been facing the other way. The other way. I always face him into the east, though, because the weather comes from the southwest. But... I might as well grab the cards out of these because that's we don't have any more deer in here that we see what we got. Yeah, these are very Well, I can imagine this is so fertile. Yeah, look at how they've been chewing on all these bulbs like crazy. Rip them right out of the ground. And well, big bucks, here. yeah, well, them big bucks really like to stick nasty cover with the food right next to it. They feel safe coming out here that early. I mean, that what time was it? It was 
324 is what it was. But yeah, they eat all the leaves right down to the bulb. You see they had this scrape opened right up. Did you send a picture to Chad? Yeah. yeah. Hey, babe. Yeah. Can you come here and look at this? What is she? The buck. Oldie? Way bigger. The bull he ate. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. It walked through the strip food plot at 324. Nice. Wow. So, is there a name for this one? Sir? The bull he ate. Huh? The bull he ate. Been watching him for years. So he's older. Yep. Probably. Oh, nice. Oh. Very nice. <clears throat> Think that's big enough, Grandma? Yeah, I'd take it. <laughs> Very nice. I, had the camera. I don't know if I got one bigger than Grandma did, though, yet. Yeah, she shot a good one. It's nice. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Grandpa? Yeah. <laughs> Not very heavy beams, but nice rack. Mm -hmm. Nice even. Here's his sheds from last year that I found. Oh. Mm -hmm. See how he's grown. Last year his uh, right side was kind of funky with three. <laughs> but you can see how much you he's... think it's the same deer already? Oh, there's no question it is. <laughs> I know these things like the back of my hand, Grandma. Okay. <clears throat> well, when did they finally call you that you're free? Just you an hour ago. ago. Yeah, well, that's great. Yep. So now you got to go back to work? Yep, I'm COVID-free, everybody. It's a good day. <laughs> I'm not a walking plague. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> But the problem is in that area where he was, there's only just a little narrow area and he's undercover. And so he turned sideways but walked right towards the tree undercover and I had to, I, sh I shot, you know, because I didn't have any, as soon as he started moving I had to shoot because he was going to be behind trees. And so a shot went in his back hip. Huh. And then uh, we walked down there and Cliff says, well you better walk in the swamp area or back in those trees there because he'll be if he's still alive he'll be moving that way so i went back in there with a 30 out six and i got about 10 yards in there and i seen him trotting through there so i got behind you know i didn't even get behind a tree i just pulled up and shot again at him and then he kept moving so i ran to another vantage point where i thought he was going and uh caught up to him again and uh shot him again that time he went down but I think I hit him all three times. That one time, see, I hit him right here. That's what put him down. That <coughs> must have been the last time. No, I think I just grazed him. I think I just grazed him there. I don't think it, it went in, but I think that I hit him right here. This we just got the tape on him, and he's 20 inches outside, right on the money. So he's actually the same as the buck I killed. But this one's got a lot more tine length and longer beams. I got you on the brow tines though. Yep, brow tines, yours is bigger. Yeah. Well, let's go show it off a little more. Okay, you look at him. Finally got lucky. How far away was he? 300. That's some shot. What did you shoot it with? What did I shoot it with? <laughs> 6.5 Creedmoor. 6.5 Creedmoor. Yeah. What color was his coat? <laughs> well, you can see we're as gutted as it's already here, so it was 300 and it was uh, about 320 today. 320. Jesus Christ, I can't even see him. Yeah. I don't think you'll you'll have much trouble seeing him, Grandpa. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a beauty. Can you believe two bucks like that came out of the same, same patch place. of br same same patch of brush? Watch out for his left. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not kidding. What's it measure? 20, right on the money. That's unbelievable. Two 20 inch bucks. Look at this. Yeah, he was working it. <laughs> I'll tell you, John, it was something else. Yards. It, I, no, but, yeah. Oh, it was, we were him. up there in that shed. And he's on the phone with Chaz Miller talking, telling him how we have all these big bucks in our back pocket because we got the food plus. And I'm going, Cliff, Cliff. <laughs> I said, yeah. buck down there in that <laughs> food, this food plot. This is beginning to be so, a habit. So, yeah. So Cliff, he grabs a gun and gets can a skull. Can you censor that? <laughs> yeah, I can. He puts a gun on it. And he says, that's the bully eight. That's the bully eight. And so I have the gun right on him, and he's, he's facing me. He's facing me, and I said, I got him right in the chest. I can take oh him right God. in the chest. It's 300 yards. <laughs> He's facing right at us. I'm like, Dad, wait. wait for him to turn wait, sideways. Wait. We have more room for air. I can't wait. I said, I got to shoot him. I, you know, and he says, no, wait, wait. And so, But the problem is, he was all the way down in there, and it's very narrow. And so when he turned sideways, he, kept, he, he took off, and he was going behind trees. And I shot, and I hit him right in the hip. Because I only had, he took two steps and he was out of sight. He what didn't you're turn. saying is that the kid would have let you shoot. Yeah, I yeah. had him down right there. Thank, thank, down. thank God he killed it. Because I had heard about this the rest of my life so what happened, for not letting him shoot. We go down there and, and we grabbed the 30 at 6 and I took that with me. And Cliff went to where I, where I shot him and I cut into the woods where the swamp is point because he didn't go down with a second shot there and so i, I get <laughs> i get i get a second shot and i and i planted one right in his side here and then he went down and he was done but we went back and looked at where the blood trail was from the first shot he was all kinds of blood. oh he was, he was he, first he probably would have yeah first shot would have killed him you weigh yours i did it weighed uh, 130 pounds it was lighter than yeah, heck bigger than truck yeah it was this light was 129 yeah, <laughs> I don't know what this one is. We're back to see Bob for the second time today, everybody. I was here this morning with my 20-incher, and we're back with Dad's 20-incher this afternoon. So it's been a, a hell of a day on the Bailey farm. I'm happy for him. <laughs> Very happy for him. Well, Bob's got it all ready to rock and roll. All caped out and looking good. Boy, it looks even better without the body. <laughs> awesome. Oh, his neck would have been two inches bigger around. Yeah. Yep. They run them right off fast. Mm -hmm. That's gonna do it on this video, everybody. I'm gonna end this video with tons and tons of trail camera uh, footage that I have of the Bully 8 over the past uh, couple years. We called him the Bully 7 last year just to uh, share a little history with, uh, about this deer. The neighbor, one of my buddies, actually hit this deer with an arrow last year. Uh, last year he was actually a seven point. He had three on one side and four on the other. Uh, the neighbor hit him during archery season. He ended up shedding both antlers uh, before rifle season was even over. And uh, this year he grew both sides back absolutely perfectly, uh, like nothing ever happened to him. And I was able to find both his sheds uh, laying right over here behind the house. And... Uh, you know how the story ends. Uh, my dad puts a Swahili on him, but what a couple days we've had on our farm deer hunting. Uh, you're going to see another uh, Nazareth Road legend of a buck uh, hit the dirt on the next video. Well, actually, not the next one. The next one you're going to see my uh, doe kill in Pennsylvania with a 500 S&W, which was awesome. And then you're going to see the buck that we call Hulk up close and personal. Uh, I really appreciate everybody watching. I want to thank all the patrons once again. And uh, I wanted to mention we just got a whole big shipment of uh, KEO hats. Uh, we got the camo camo ones and uh, these black trucker-like hats. And then we have the KEO logo shirts. Uh, they make for great Christmas presents. If you know somebody that uh, enjoys the channel, uh, all you got to do is email Kaylee Sheldon. 10 at gmail.com and she'll uh, send you an invoice and get you set up so thanks everybody i hope you enjoyed the video we have even better ones coming soon thanks